improving. I'm definitely laying up today. So there you guys have it. We are at Portland Trail Riders on, well, this video was on October 6th, 2019. Uh, here we are now. It's about a month late. I've been super busy, and I just finally figured out um, my sound issues. I've been trying to record this video, or record my voice on this video for quite some time, and I could not get the quality to be good. <laughs> so I think we finally got it figured out. Um, so like I said, um, you know, my wrist in this video is still broken, technically. Um, the doctor still wanted me in a long arm splint. Um, I was just barely doing any kind of uh, range of motion exercises. Um, but, you know, 90% of the time I was supposed to be in a long arm splint still. So, being out here riding was probably not my best idea but um, it was kind of necessary. A week, a week and a half after this race, I headed up to Rose City to do the Bent Wheels Pledge Ride. And I was up there for, I think, three days. And we rode uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 130 miles. Um, so, I needed to come out here today and make sure that I could at least ride. Um, this was really the first time I'd been on the bike since before, or since my accident. Uh, I'd ridden out at Deck's house one time, just two days before this race, just to kind of feel it out a little bit. So, yeah, um, trying not to push it here. This guy, I don't know what he's doing, you know. It, See Paul there in the in the yellow shirt. He goes up the left side of him, but um, yeah, I, not real sure what's going on there. You know, it raced through the uh, through the timing and scoring, but um, <laughs> anyway. So I don't think you can see it, but watch up over the crest of this hill. Um, you saw Paul go around me there in timing and scoring, and right there. He and Rob Taylor uh, tangled bars to. over that hill. We'll do whatever I can today to not fall. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So uh, they tangled bars, messed up their bikes. I think Rob ended up having to go to the hospital. Um, Paul ended up going to urgent care, you know, on his own without an ambulance ride ended up breaking his nose in three spots so yeah that's what I was trying to avoid the whole day was crashing this is different. I don't really know if that was different or not it felt like they had us going out uh, you know that's on, that sweeper there isn't anything new Come on, <laughs> it's harder to ride through that stuff when you're going slow. Um, but anyway, that sweeper there, I don't, I don't know that it was really different. It seemed new, probably because there was a lot of grass there still. Um, but in one form or another, we always do a sweeper around that corner. But it felt like it went closer to the fence line than normal. I might be wrong. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so... You know, I'm out here, I'm just trying to, to ride. I'm trying to stay out of my head, you know, and, and, well, trying to stay in my head to make sure that I don't get into a race with somebody and start riding over my head and crash. Um, I was wearing my wrist brace, and that definitely helped, but, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, even at this point, I'm starting a little frustrated. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm actually using a lot more energy trying to ride slow. Let these 
than what I would if I was riding fast. Um, so yeah, like I said, I was I was trying to make sure that I stayed in the right mental space to just ride, um, so I didn't hurt myself, and I did a pretty good job of it. Um, this lap was a little bit slow. Um, I, I was able to ride faster when I got away from people, but to be perfectly honest, uh, I talked quite a bit <laughs> in this first lap, and so it was a little bit entertaining, I guess. And my second lap really wasn't a whole lot faster, so why not show you the good stuff? Um, I knew before this race started there was no way I was going to finish this race. I, I never planned on it. Physically, I might have been able to do it, um, but I didn't want to push my wrists that hard um, for the first time back on the bike. Um, yeah. I get into kind of some situation, or a little bit of a situation here, uh, going into the wood section, where I lose feeling in my fingers. Um, basically, my whole left hand went numb from, you know, my my knuckles right right off the palm of my hand um, forward. So I had no feeling in my fingers for an entire lap, and then. Miraculously, almost the exact same spot on the second lap through, something popped in the side of my wrist and all the feeling came back instantly. So that was a little bit freaky. Um, I still am not sure what it was. I'm guessing my wrist was just swelling and a nerve was starting to get pinched or something. But um, yeah, I was struggling through the, uh, the most of the second lap there with a totally numb hand and so I knew then that I really wanted to pull off and once I, the track started getting rutted up um, you know I was starting to have to fight the bike I knew I needed to pull off um, just just for for not tempting fate, really. Um, I could have ridden a lot further, you know, energy-wise, but but it wasn't worth the risk to keep going. So, um, like I said, I, I was really just out here to prove to myself that I could ride a trail for the pledge ride. Um, yeah. Portland. Mm, Portland's Portland. Um, I always liked this track only because it was my first track that I ever raced at with a dirt bike. Um, but, you know, this field section, even when it's dry and sandy, for some reason it's always still slick. Um, you know, this ground is kind of a, kind of a mix of sand and, and clay, I think. Um, just gets real snotty. And we had rain... For about a week leading up to this race and like two days before the race it quit raining and so su the track was actually in surprisingly good shape considering how much rain we had gotten um, unfortunately the ground was really soft because of that and it got tore up quick um, you know you can if I had, was showing the second lap, um, smokes, you could see how bad the ruts are. You know, this is only the first lap, so it's not torn up too bad. But even by the second lap, uh, the ruts were starting to get pretty deep. And it was starting to get pretty beat up. So, you know, like I said, Portland is what it is. It's a track that you know is going to get torn up because it's a short course. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, I don't know. I didn't have any real complaints. Um, it was nice to finally be able to get out and ride. Um, so, you know, I, I'm hoping for a better season next year. But um, at least I was able to get out and enjoy one of the last races. Um, the pledge ride went up to the day before 
Valley, the rescheduled Valley Trail Riders race. Um, so because of that, I I chose not to race Valley. Um, it was probably a good thing. I overrode a little bit, I think, um, over the few days that I was up at Rose City. And my, my hand was hurting pretty bad by the end of the weekend. So, yeah. Um, I don't have a whole lot to, left to say. Um, I apologize for having this take so long. I know Rob was really wanting to kind of see what I got on video. Um, I meant to post this a long time ago, but like I said, I was having some mic issues and and uh you know life kind of got in the way um so i just didn't have a whole lot of time to get to this uh so i've got this video going up and um i'm hoping within the next few days i'll get the footage of um the bent wheels pledge ride up that i've got a little over six hours of footage that i've got to dwindle down to something you know, bite size that you guys are actually going to want to watch. So, um, hopefully it'll be a, a whole video of nothing but highlights, but, uh, <laughs> you never know, I guess. Um, in any case, I'm going to quit recording, let you guys kind of watch, you know, what happens here. And, uh, like I said, I was, I was talking quite a bit in this first lap, so, um, kind of self-narrating, I guess. Ooh, nice little power wheelie there. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so season's at an end now. Um, I hope to see all you guys back out here um, next year. And until then, you know, we will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. are going numb. I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs>